Hi, Paul Wilkinson here, uh, music educator, pianist, composer and improviser. Uh, this is a series of videos, so please hit the subscribe button um, below. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Associated Board Jazz Piano Syllabus. I'm going to give you some tips about how you might help your students when you're teaching them uh, and discussing the subject of improvisation. So giving you some some concepts you might like to try with them uh, to work to work with them. So hopefully after this video you'll go try some of these. So here's Big Burke's works, which has this mini bass line. <laughs> My very first tip would be the student has to know that from memory. You can't improvise over that structure unless you know it from memory. You have to be free from that, you have to know it completely from memory so that you're free to improvise and put whatever things you want over the top. So it has a two beat structure. So the first thing I get the student to do is make sure they know what the blue scale is for this piece. Now this piece is, is, a, is a minor blues and so the blue scale you need is is D blues. So the D blues scale goes D, F, G, A flat, A, C, and then D. Now, it's jazz, it needs to swing. Just make sure the student can go up and down. And then, just get them to play a semi-breathe just this four beat note over that bass line going up and down the blue scale so so then the next one and so on Keep, get them to do that they're gaining some rhythmical independence then see if you can get them to do two beats so minims in the right hand so we'll be matching with this bass line so So if that's secure, then get the student to try and play crotchets. So that'll be. Now, we're now about to hit. That's an important rhythm, of course. The two beats and, and the crotchets are important rhythms. But now we're going to hit quavers. Now, this is the important thing. So this is when we need to swing those. So don't forget, we'll need to get four on those. So it'll be one and two. stop talking and counting just hear it starting to swing now so then at that point if you could get the student to just stop on some of those and then restart we'll start to get some jazzier phrases so start to develop some phrases because that's what jazz is if you're an improviser which I am you tend to find phrases that you can repeat and you leave space if you're a horn player you will leave space as you pass out you know so it's really important to breathe so this is my first little tip this video is basically only about the mechanics really okay this is about the mechanics of getting the ability to improvise in this next uh, ABRSM jazz exam videos that I'll do I'll do a series of these I'll come back to this tune and I'll talk about how we improvise on it, make some melodic melodies. But this first video has been all about just trying to get to grips with the, the complexities of improvising and being able to play two against two and then, then again playing the quavers, so playing you know eighth notes there, so you're getting those eighth notes in there as well. And we haven't talked about triplets or sixteenth notes or anything like that. So this is just the logistics, okay? Starting with your two beat, doing your two beat, your one beat note first and going back and doing the two beat notes and doing the crotchets and doing the quavers to hold on a few notes and then start there's some 
concept to try that re may really help. So this is a study of improvisation. Hope that helps. Please subscribe. More videos coming about the ABRSM Associated Board Jazz exams. Thanks for watching.